Hey families, I'm Katie and I'm so happy to have church with you right now. Sometimes I just love a good surprise. <laughs> it's so exciting. Now, which do you like better? Getting a good surprise or knowing what's coming? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Now let's learn our point together. Every day, I am who Jesus says I am. Now say it with me. Come on. Every day, I am who Jesus says I am. Great job. Now it's time for our everyday song that talks about that. Stand up so you can sing and dance along. about a time when Jesus raised a man from the dead. Such a crazy story. One minute a man is dead and then Jesus speaks and he's alive and well. Jesus brings life to things. Jesus said it himself in John 11, 25 when he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus makes us alive. And that's why we're saying every day, I am who Jesus says I am. Jesus says we are alive. So before we start talking about that, we're gonna sing a song together. So go ahead and stand up and sing this out with us as loud as you can.
You guys sounded so good. Thank you for singing along with us. And now we're going to take some time to watch a Bible story together. Like I said earlier, today we're going to be looking at the story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. So let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on! But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, let's go! Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Ah, uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus. But Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, it'll be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus' grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, See how much he loved him? But some said, This man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me. But I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here. So they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. 
Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. Jesus is so powerful that even death has to obey him. He called out to Lazarus in his tomb and told him to come out of the tomb. Our friend, Pastor Cameron, is going to be talking to us a little bit more about our story right now, so let's take a look. This is a boomerang. Boomerangs are really cool because they do something a little different. They do something that doesn't quite make sense. You see, how a boomerang works is you throw it away from you in one direction and it actually comes back to you. At least, that's how a boomerang's supposed to work. Let's see if we can make it happen. I think that the reason boomerangs are so cool is because they do something they're not supposed to do. They come back. We all love things like this. That's why we all love a good comeback story. Raising Lazarus from the dead is such an amazing miracle. It's one of the greatest comeback stories ever. The man was dead for four days. The family was crying, everything looked hopeless, but Jesus walked to the tomb and said, Lazarus, come out. And just like that, Lazarus was alive again. Talk about a comeback. This story shows us the incredible power that Jesus had. Such power that even death had to obey him. Lazarus was dead and Jesus made him alive. And you may be wondering, how does this story apply to us? I mean, if you're watching this video, you're not dead yet, right? You might be surprised. You see, spiritual death is a little different than what you might think. The Bible talks about spiritual death as being separated from God. Ephesians 2, 1 and 2 talks about it like this when it says, You were living in your sins and lawless ways, but in fact you were dead. You used to live as sinners when you followed the ways of this world. So much like Lazarus was physically dead, we were, or in some cases are, spiritually dead. And we need someone who has power over death to bring us life. Jesus is the only one who has that power over death and can bring us back to life. Jesus was killed for the sins of the whole world, past, present, and future. He went to the cross for us because he knew that just like Lazarus, we were dead because of our own sins. And Jesus was our only hope of ever being made alive again. So he went to the cross and sacrificed himself for us, dying in our place for our sins. Then three days later, he was raised back to life. And when Jesus came back, he made a way for us to be made alive too. That separation from God doesn't have to be there anymore. Jesus did this for us because he loves us so much. You were dead. And even though you didn't deserve it, God sent Jesus so that you could be alive again. Just like Jesus called Lazarus out of his grave, he's calling you too. So don't stay in the tomb. Don't keep living how you used to live when you were spiritually dead. Remember, every day we are who Jesus says we are and he says that we are made alive. Jesus makes us alive and that life inside of us should be seen on the outside with how we act and how we treat others and how we live our lives when nobody sees us. Even though we didn't deserve it, God sent Jesus so that you could be made alive and reconnected with God. Remember, every day we are who Jesus says we are and he says we're made alive. So that's it for this week and thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Wait friends, don't go yet. Let's learn a Bible verse together. Listen to this, Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart, ba bum ba bum that God raised him from the dead. Woo-hoo! <laughs> now I'll say little parts and you can repeat after me. Are you ready? Okay, Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart, ba bum ba bum that God raised him from the dead. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Good job, friends. That verse reminds us that when we believe that Jesus is alive, God makes our hearts alive. We can be friends with him instead of being dead in sin. 
I had a great time having church with you. Now I'm gonna leave you with some questions to talk about with your family. When they pop up on the screen, pause the video and have a little chat. See you later.